Let's be clear first what your religion is, then we can talk about some different points. So let me just be sure that I know what you're talking about. Um, so Ahmadis believe in the following. Number one, that there was Ghulam Ahmad came in India, you know, in the 1900s or whatever it was, and that he was a new prophet, a, a, you know, uh, a prophet that came after the Prophet Muhammad. That you believe in the Prophet Muhammad, you believe in the Quran, but you believe in a new prophet called Ahmad, Ghulam Ahmad, Indian. Not only is he a new prophet, a new prophet but he's also, he's also the Mahdi that the Prophet Muhammad was talking about. But not only is he the Mahdi, but he was also Isa ibn Maryam as well. Allow Jesus me first. to interrupt you here, please. Yes. Because he said it himself. He said, he first, first, first of all, he claimed to be Mujaddi. Then he claimed to be Mahdi. Then he claimed to be Messiah Isa ibn Maryam. Isa ibn Maryam. Yeah. Then he came to be When I said that means Qadiani changed his mind. He said something worse. He said, no, Allah said to, to, to Qadiani, now you are Mujaddid. Then he said, no, now you are Mujaddid. Then he said, no. Okay. <laughs> let me tell you something. I want to be very clear with you, brother. Since me and you both believe in the Quran, let me be clear. Let me be clear. Me and this man, what's your name? Uh, Munim. Munim. Even though I'm, I don't, to be honest with you, consider the Qadiani, sorry, the, the Ahmadi group, a faction of an Islamic faction. However, we both believe in the Quran, right? We both believe in the Hadith, even Bukhari and Muslim. Is that correct? So, what's going to be the what's going to be the one that is what's going to be the thing that's going to decide between me and you is going to be the Quran. And you believe in the Quran with all of the Qur'an and all of the things that we believe in them, you know, right? Yeah. So, whatever the Quran says, then we accept. Accept it? Yeah, we accept. That we have to accept. Now, in the Quran, just to be clear in the beginning, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, the Surah Al Amran, the third. Third chapter of the Quran in the first kind of verses. All of the end of the Alaika Kitaba mean who ayah to Muhammad who know Mutabu or Okra Mutashabi had family Ladina V. Okaru Mutashabi had family Ladina Fikulubi him Zayun for Yatabi on a Matashaba him with Tira Al Fitna, or with Tira at Awili, or my Alam Tawilahu, Illa, or Rasi Hun of Lamia Hulu Aman Nabi, Kulum and Ain Rabina, where the Karula, Ulu Al Bab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says in the Quran that the Quran has two kinds of verses that has Muhammad verses. Yes, um, unambiguous verses, yeah, yeah. unambiguous, and, and mutashabihat, ambiguous verses. The ones who have a problem with the heart will go to the ambiguous verses, yes, in order to try and uh, to try and justify, make a ta'wil, make some kind of uh, interpretation of the Quran. They're trying to follow fitna, meaning corruption and, and fasad yeah, and trials. And they're trying to make their own interpretation. And no one knows the full interpretation of those ambiguous verses except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The ones who have true faith say that we, uh, we believe in all of it. Now we believe in the Quran. The Quran Surah Al-Ahzab, chapter number 33 of the Quran. Listen to this. Now we believe in the Quran in 10 Qiraat Mutawatira. All of these Qiraat are Quran. You believe in that, yeah? We believe it. Now, the Quran refers to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu And he says to him, about him, that we know for a fact there's two things we need to hear Khatam and Nabiyin. Khatam and Nabiyin means the seal of the prophets. Yeah? Accepted. Uh, and Nabiyin means the prophets. Every messenger that has come has been a prophet. We know that. Because a messenger, a Rasul, is higher than a Nabi, which is a prophet. So every Kullu Rasulun Nabi, every messenger is a prophet. Walaysa al Aksa Kadalik. Not the opposite is not true. Okay, so now, do you know in Qira'at Warsh, you believe in the Quran, Qira'at Al Ash, it says, Wahatim Nabi. Wait a minute now, wait, 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 wait. What's going on, Akhi? We believe in the Quran like Malik and Malik. Malik means owner of the Day of Judgment. Malik means king of the Day of Judgment. Both of them are from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Both of them come from the heavens. In the verse that you're talking about, Surah Al-Ahzab, chapter number 33, it says Khatam al nabiyin which means the seal of the prophets. Khatim al nabiyin bi kasr al ta with the ta with the kasr on it. Bi kasr al ta means the last prophet. The last prophet. There's no la yahtamil ta'wilan. La yahtamil ta'wil. There's no way you can bend this verse and you can change it. We Therefore, we don't need to bend this verse because because. Now, now, my question to you. Let me let me di direct the first question. Okay. The first question: If the Quran is directly saying to you that. Khatim and Khatim, Khatim and Khatim, that he's the seal of the prophets and that he is the last prophet, both. Seal and last, last. Khatim means last. Khatim, Khatim, Khatim. 
بكسر تاء means last in Arabic. Look, and if you don't believe me, go to Lisan al-Arab. Lisan al-Arab is the lexicon of the Arabs. Or you can go to Isfahani's book. Isfahani, Mufradat al-Quran. Go to that. Or you can, if you don't believe me, you can also look at Tafsir Jalalain or any of the Tafsir. Khatam means the last prophet. And this is corroborated by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa himself. What did he say? He said in the hadith which is Sahih. لا نبي بعدي. There's no prophet after me. Qat'iyan. It's a qat'i. Completely, completely clear. And Hazrat Aisha Raziyallahu Anha said... Okay, hold on. Let's talk about the Quran first. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you're talking like crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So, what do you do about this verse? This verse, we accept it fully. We fully accept that this is the verse of the Holy Quran. And we believe in everything that Allah Ta'ala has revealed to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with no hesitation and no ambiguity. We are 100% sure that this is the truth from Allah Ta'ala. But the way that we give the translation is different. You say there are two ways to pronounce this. There is a hadith uh, which is narrated by a, uh, is narrated by a sahabi in which it says that Hazrat Ali Razian, one day he was passing by um, his, uh, his sons. I don't remember if it was uh, Hazrat Hassan or Hussein, I don't remember. And uh, he was reading the Holy Quran and he came upon this verse. The teacher came upon this verse and he, and he, and he pronounced it Khatim, khat, Khatim al Nabiyin. Like, oh, no, 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 no. It, like you pronounced it the second time. Khatim, you know? Khatim, yeah. which is Khatim. Khatim. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Which is last in Arabic. I know, I know, I know. So, so the teacher came upon this verse and he said Khatim al Nabiyin, right? Hazrat Ali said, do not pronounce uh, uh, the, the, the Kasra. Do not pronounce the Kasra, but say Khatam ah, with the, with the okay. Fatha so and the Shay. Yes, yes, yes. This guy has contradicted himself majorly. Oh. Do you know how he's contradicted oh. himself? We started off by saying, by the way, this is very important in the Islamic Aqidah. He started off by saying that he believes in the Quran. Sorry. He started off by saying that he believes in the Quran. The Quran, the Quran, yeah? And the Quran in the Quran, the Mutawatir Quran, which has come with so many chains of narration. You know what this word Mutawatir means? A tawatur in Arabic means when it comes from different chains of narration. In, in I tell you, more than one Qira'a, it says Khatim, because the like Warsh. Now, if you go to the mosque, now I'm asking you a question. You go to Manar Mosque, which is close by. They recite in Warsh. Moroccans. They recite in your Moroccan. Yeah. Recite. Akhi, if they recite, I'm asking you a question now. Now, hold on, hold on. If you, if you, now hold on. In Maghrib al Arabi, except for uh, Libya, Libya, they recite in Warsh. The, the guy's going to say, Wahatim and Nabiyin. Are you going to uh, correct him? Are you going to correct him in the prayer? No. Yeah, I, I am going to go with, with what Hazrat Ali Razian 